Hey guys, I hope you can see me. Apparently I can't flip the camera once I've started recording a video and I want to show you guys what I'm putting in my pack. Um, greetings from Oloron Sainte Marie in the south of France. I got here today via Cannes Franc, Cannes Franc, I don't know how you say that, in, it's in Spain, the north of Spain. Uh, I was there last night and I'll actually be going through there again on my Camino. I've been saying I'm going to be doing the Camino Aragonés, but actually the first few days I'll be doing uh, the very end of the Chemin d'Arles that leaves from the city of Arles in France. Um, and it's interesting in this city, which is super cute, I explored today, uh, you can take two different uh, Camino ways. You can take one, the one I'm taking, or you can also take another route that will lead you to Saint-Jean-Pied-de-Port if you want to start the Francais there. So I just thought that was pretty interesting. But And I'll make a video um, explaining the transportation, how I got here, and some different ideas for people coming, especially from North America. Um, but now I'm going to show you what I'm putting in my pack. Um, I'm still trying to get a few things down and I know everyone's probably gonna think I'm taking too much. Uh, I took more than this on my last Camino, so I'm excited to have less weight. Uh, it didn't bother me. I'm sure I'd be, it'd be nicer if it were lighter, but I, you know, I take what I want to be comfortable without taking too much. So I hope you enjoy and uh, look for videos as I start my Camino. I can't wait to share it with you guys. All right, so here's what's going on in my pack. I'm going to point things out with my one of my walking sticks here. So, of course, there's the other stick. I'm taking two. I got them from REI. I usually, I often prefer walking with one, but sometimes I like two. And since this is a pretty uh, mountainous route, at least at the beginning, I figured I'll take two. So, there's my pack, my Marmot, 36 liter. It's the women's Graviton. It's the same one I used last time on the Francaise and I loved it. Um, if you haven't seen them yet, check out my videos about that. I talk about the features that I love. Um, two water bottles. They're the only plastic insulated ones I could find. Um, so I will talk more about my hydration system when I get to one of the other items later. But yeah, those will go in the side packs there. Um, then my footwear. So I'm this time I'm going with, and I'll make a full video about this at some point, but I'm going with the, the Solomon Sense Ride 4s. These are men's because the women's are not big enough for my feet once I factor in two sets of socks. Um, they're super comfortable. I love the laces, how you just pull and tighten, but I was nervous about them maybe breaking, so I did buy an extra set of laces uh, for 15 bucks on Amazon. So love these shoes. They feel like a glove. Um, these are my also my high school colors, go Hawks, so that was fun. Um, these are a pair of Dr. Scholl's inserts. I don't ever wear inserts, but um, I do have high arches in these shoes that don't really support high arches, so I, you know, I just got these. I think they were $8 at Target. They feel really comfortable when they're on. I think they have like a gel cushioned, yeah, heel pad. Oh, I should probably take off that sticker. But yeah, they, they're really comfortable when in. And since these shoes are bigger um, and feel great in the toes, this just helps keep my foot more stable in the shoe. These are my Keen sandals. Um, I love these. I made a video about them before. I think they're the best because they have the Velcro open and close in the back. Um, I bring these really for in case, you know, I have any issues with my shoes, but also just provides a different walking option, uh, especially if I develop the same pinch blisters on my pinky toes as I did on the front stays. But those took two weeks to develop, so I'm crossing my fingers that that's not the case. Uh, these do definitely add weight to the pack, but for me, it's worth it for being able to have an extra set of hiking footwear if needed. Uh, Third, it's a different pair, but it's the same model as last time. These are the Sanuk Yoga Salty Flip Flops. They're super lightweight. Um, love putting these on at night. Love having my toes be able to go free and breathe. Um, never want to wear hiking sandals into the shower. There's so much grossness on the trail, often animal feces, and putting that in the shower where other people are is just not hygienic. So speaking of shower, uh, one is put together, the other, the other isn't. I made a video about these two. These are my shower sandals. They're extremely lightweight and I love that they fold down flat. Um, so they take up like no weight and no room in the pack. Um, this here is my shower, my shower, <laughs> my rain shower, I guess you can say cover for my pack. Has a nice uh, stripe on there to catch any light if needed, but I don't think I'll be walking in the dark, but maybe it could be cloudy and gray. 
uh, my, my rain cover was too small last time. It was fine when the pack was uh, not filled, but it was not fine when it was filled. I got lucky it only rained one day. I mean, it was okay, but it just didn't fit super well. So I bought an extra big one this side, this time. Uh, I brought my Adidas hat. I didn't bring my my hat that the, bill, the brim folds this time. Um, I don't know. This is a super lightweight, quick dry hat. I just wanted to bring it, so I did. Moving along over here, this is a small, super, super, super lightweight um, bag that I used to bring my clothes and stuff into the shower with me, and then I uh, used to take like the shampoo and everything back to my bunk. I had it last time, and it was really convenient. Um, these are my waterproof socks. They are a luxury for sure. They add a little bit of weight, but um, if it's pouring rain, I like to wear these with my sandals and that way my feet actually stay super dry and I can help avoid blisters. Two pair of Injinji liner socks. Uh, I usually like to bring three, but I only had two, <laughs> so I just brought two. Uh, three pairs of um, merino wool hiking socks, um, a couple sports bras, some undies, quick drying of course, uh, buffs. I the buff changed the texture of their headbands or you know of their buffs which i'm disappointed by but so there is one that's super stretchy and lightweight and then two of the regular ones i love buffs i will wear them every day even if it's cooler because i sweat a lot when i'm hiking especially um two quick dry towels this is the full size one um, and this is a mini one that i'll clip onto my pack for when it's hot i can use that to wipe off my face so i don't get you know sunscreen and sweat and everything in my eyes um, this is my lightweight Eddie Bauer fleece and a lot of th these things I've discussed in my Camino, um, gear video in terms of when I talk about clothing. So I didn't change those. My same REI super lightweight rain jacket. This is a new edition and definitely a luxury, but I'm taking a small lightweight tablet. I actually did find it frustrating last time when I was trying to write a lot of, um, like posts and everything because I posted on Facebook for my friends and family and got kind of a big following. Uh, it was really, I felt like it took me more time to do everything on my phone, which kind of took away from some of the time I could spend with other pilgrims. So uh, I will hopefully enjoy having this tablet, but um, if it ends up being really heavy, then I won't. But I'm looking forward to having that, especially since I think there will be fewer people on this Camino to talk to at night. I have two REI lightweight breathable face masks hoping that I only have to really wear those around other people in the albergues and not on the trail, although I don't think I need to on the trail, uh, and I probably won't be around other people. Um, su spray sunscreen, spray bug spray. I did not have bug spray last time and got totally eaten up, and I've already seen a bunch of mosquitoes, so I really wanted to find a smaller one, but I couldn't in time, so I do have to carry a little extra weight there. Um, special face sunscreen, which I really, you know, really want to protect my face when I'm out there, and also a, a sunscreen stick for easy application uh, if needed. A golf ball to roll out my feet if they get sore. Uh, mosquito insect repellent wristbands. So maybe I'll leave this and just take this, but probably not. Maybe I'll dish this if things are feeling too heavy. Uh, some Kleenex and some wet wipes here. Um, these are mud guards for my poles. I wasn't going to bring them, but I'm concerned that there may be some muddy places in the, on the, in the Pyrenees. So I'm going to take them just in case. Um, hand sanitizer, extra, um, extra, I can't even remember the name, but tips for my walking poles. These are by Lecky. Uh, they're really, really good. Uh, I had other cheap ones that I walked through in like three days and the Lecky ones lasted like 30. So, um, these are extra mouthpieces for this, which is my drinking straw. Um, I have a whole video on hydration on the Camino, so I'm using that again. Basically, you just screw this part onto your water bottle and then put the tube through it and it functions like a you know, like a hydration bladder without needing the bladder in your backpack. So I liked that a lot last time. Um, just have some extra mouthpieces. Because this mouthpiece, you have to, it's a bite one. So sometimes these are nice. Um, I said I wasn't going to bring this this time. It's a spoon, fork, and bottle opener. It's so lightweight. I'm still on the fence about it. I never used it last time. But again, this one is a lot, the Camino Aragones is a lot more isolated. I don't think there will be as many bars and cafes. 
but it's not like I'm going to be making my own food on the trail, so still thinking that one over. I'll let you guys know if I take it. A pair of sunglasses, uh, my headlamp for any early mornings. This I'm really excited about. It is like a featherweight light fanny pack that folds up into a tiny bag. And I'm actually going to wear it. Well, I'm going to try wearing it this time and keep my phone in there. Because I don't like having my phone in my pocket, but... Um, I like to have it easily accessible for pictures, so I'm going to give that a try, and it's like, I don't even know if it's two ounces, it's so lightweight. Um, these are some snacks, and these definitely add weight, but again, I've read that there are some places where you don't have any uh, cafes or anything for a long time, so I'm just kind of nervous about not having any food, so um, have some snacks with me, cashews, some RX bars, um, Velveeta and some dark bark, dark chocolate with pumpkin seeds, which is amazing. Um, a hairbrush. This is another item I said I wouldn't bring on another Camino, but frankly, I just forgot to get a different dry bag until too late. And when I started looking, the bags I looked at, they seemed like they would keep water out. I mean, I mean, if you have stuff in them, that they would keep the things dry, but I wasn't sure if they could be filled with water in the same way this one can be. So I will still be using it. And then this is a soap tray. Um, I don't know what material it is, it's flexible. And I use this to scrub my clothes actually, which is really nice if the clothes are very uh, muddy or dirty or dusty. Uh, this is my baby first aid kit, some blister band-aids. These are very important for me, corn band-aids. I like the cutout in case there are blisters. I have some corn cushions, Neosporin, uh, band-aids, and the like. Um, moving along to my other clothes, I have one pair of, this is my sleeping and potentially it's if I go swimming anywhere short. Then I have two regular uh, hiking shorts. I have a super lightweight pair of pants for the nighttime because it does get down into like the low 50s overnight. And then I caved and I bought a pair of zip-offs. Very lightweight from REI. So technically I probably could leave one of these shorts behind, but, uh, and maybe I will, but maybe I won't. I just, I prefer having a couple extra options despite the weight. And these are so lightweight that, you know, taking one out doesn't make a huge difference. Then moving on to my tops, I have my long sleeve shirt. I have four hiking t-shirts, which is definitely one too many at least. But I like to have two that I walk in, two or three that I walk in and a different shirt for the night. Um, and, then a, and then a tank top, this is for sleeping. Um, so I'm trying to take one of these out. Uh, we'll see if I do or not, but um, those are my shirts. This is my sleep sack, and I have a whole video on why I love this type of sleep sack. It has zippers all around to get out easily in the night if you have to go to the bathroom. It's a little more substantial, so no problem if there are no blankets, and I don't know if there will be because it's COVID. Um, this is my money and passport pack. Um, these are some of my electronics. I have my uh, plug here. I like this one because I had three USB plugs couple other plugs, a micro USB plug. So a lot of, you can hook up a lot of things to this. Got that on Amazon. My iPhone cord, my portable charger, which has actually the cords to charge built right in. Let me see if I can get this out without too much trouble. Yep. Got that on Amazon. And then my AirPods. Oh, and I also have a pair of wired headphones just in case my AirPods die. Um, moving over this way of body glide for my feet. Um, I have my clothing pins to hang my clothes to dry. I have an S-hook, a carabiner, and some duct tape uh, just in case items. I have uh, earplugs, of course, safety pins. Those are for hanging, pinning cl clothes if they haven't fully dried by the morning to my pack to dry in the sun when I'm walking. Hand sanitizer, chapstick, uh, I am bringing a little rock that I found just to leave somewhere on the trail, even though there is no Cruz de Ferro. I'm going to see if I can find a good place for that. My dop kit. I can maybe do a full dop kit video another time, but I don't think you guys need to see everything that's in there. I suppose to see, ah, mostly just deodorant, contact lenses, things like that. And then I do did want to show you guys these, though. I thought these were super cool. They were not cheap. I think it was $30 or $35 for the set of three. I got them from REI. 
they're super lightweight and you fill them with shampoo. So I face, face wash, shampoo, and conditioner. The conditioner is a luxury, but my hair gets so gnarled and it's very tough to brush, especially after a day on the trail. So I figured in the weight I'm saving with the little bottles I would have otherwise brought, I could bring that along. So these are easy to fill. The cap screws off. I think Matador is the company that makes them. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how those work. But yeah, so that is what I'm bringing. And this will all fit in there. And it'll fit in there pretty easily with some good organization. So I will let you know how it goes. And I can't wait to have a video for you guys soon from the actual Camino. So as always, thanks and muy buen Camino.